Welcome to the GP Llama YouTube channel where today I'm digging into what's new for the Garmin Edge X30 series in regards to the new firmware they've been rolling out over the past week or so. So over the weekend, if you've got an Edge 530, 830, 1030 or 1030 Plus, you may have a little prompt pop up asking you to install firmware versions as shown on screen there. I'll call it the X73 update for obvious reasons. Now the official change log is quite thin. If you plug these into Garmin Express, Garmin Express spits out five pages of updates but I think that's an error. That's showing all the updates for these units for the past few years. So looking into the official changelog of what Garmin are telling us is updated, the fixed first beat stats resetting on power cycle. That's hopefully going to resolve my issue of always setting a new FTP every ride that I do, whether it's up or down, it seems to be a new FTP every day. Um, so we'll see how that goes. They've added an informational prompt for pairing a non-Garmin radar sensor. I guess this is Garmin's acknowledgement that there are other players in the market now with Ant Plus radar, such as the Magin L508, and possibly the Brighton unit that we haven't seen for six months after being announced or uh, showcased there at Eurobike. We'll wait and see what happens there. Uh, what's the message that pops up? As shown here on screen, the connected radar product is not designed or manufactured by Garmin. Garmin is not responsible for the timeliness or accuracy of the information provided by this product, including any proximity alerts. What does that mean for you and me as an end user? Absolutely nothing. Just click OK on that and it will go away. The function of units such as the machine still work just as good as the Vari radar in my testing anyway. Next up, they've added the RCT715 recording status indicator. Something I commented that I would love to have seen on these units when this device here first came out with the camera because you never knew whether it was recording or not. So now when it's recording, you'll get this on screen. When it's saving, you'll get this on screen. And when it's not recording, those icons won't be on screen. One thing to be aware of with those icons showing, you need to have this paired as a light device, not just a radar device. If it's paired just as a radar, you won't get those status indications on screen. Now as an RCT715 user, yes, I'm still using this device. This feature is absolutely brilliant. I'm able to look down on the screen, see that it's recording, it gives me confidence this thing's doing what it should be doing. No guesswork, no sort of bending around, trying to look or press buttons. I know when it's recording and I know when it's not. A feature that should have been there on launch, very, very handy. Oh, and by the way, the RCT715 has a firmware update to 4.80 that came out about four weeks ago. Uh, the two dot points there fixed a rare issue with GPS overlay getting stuck when used with the Varia mobile app and update camera button behavior. A single press when camera is disabled will now save a clip or photo while retaining the record mode. If you recall my original review of this, uh, what that button did was quite the task to figure out. It still is, but with the uh, recording icon on screen now, I know what it's doing. As long as it's recording, I'm happy. Now back to the Edge units, or the Edge X30 units sitting here. They've also improved Connect IQ data fields, so copies of the same field don't limit adding unique fields. Now your guess is as good as mine is what that does, so okay. They're the four line items. Now the Edge 1040 isn't getting an update just yet. There is one in the works. And I have already previewed the live track spectator messaging, which is a little rough around the edges at the moment, not quite ready for release. And we'll also be getting the RCT 715 record mode indicators. That was also previewed here on the channel a few weeks ago. When the firmware for that rolls out, I'll be back with more information on that. Onto a reminder that I include in every few of these videos from Garmin, and that is to grab yourself a micro USB cable, load up Garmin Express on Mac or PC, plug these units in and do a wire sync, just to make sure you have every update installed, including the maps. The maps only update over USB, and Garmin release regular map updates. Okay, semi-regular map updates. If you haven't plugged your unit in for a while, definitely worth doing. And another tip that I'll leave you with is to clear out the slash Garmin slash activities folder on these units. X30 series is getting on in years. If you were an early adopter, you've probably accumulated a lot of those activity files sitting in those folders that still stay on the units even though they've been synced over to Garmin Connect. So given you've already got the unit plugged in, syncing to Garmin Express, load up your file explorer, navigate to slash Garmin slash activities, maybe create a backup of all those fit files and then delete them off the device. If you're on a Mac, remember to clear the trash as well to truly get rid of those files. If you have a lot of sensors paired to these units or maybe some Connect IQ data fields that save information, those fit files can get quite large and the spare space on these things will fill up quite quickly. So keep a track of that. I typically do this at the end of each year and here we are, December 2022. Where has time gone? Alrighty, we'll leave it there for today. That's a wrap on another Garmin update video. If you found this informative, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe to support this channel, and we'll see you soon.